babies. Long time. No talk. Literally. But I'm back. <laughs> Alright, this time I'm not promising nothing, but I'm trying my best, you know. New year. No ideas. And I'm really looking forward to this. It's just a lot that has to go, like, it's just a lot that goes through my mind if, with all this YouTube and all that. But, for today, oh, if y'all didn't know, I changed my YouTube into a podcast, which I'm excited because it's been something I've been wanting to do for a minute, and I actually have the chance to do it now. Um... I don't know, it just excites me and it's like, and it's something that, like podcast overall is something that helped me heal through my breakdowns and like what I went through in the past. But today, anyway, today, since it's something new and like the first episode, I looked up, um questions i don't want to answer like i don't want to answer and Index i post, card i put them in and i'm gonna be picking so i'm gonna be shuffling and just picking and whatever comes up i need to answer truthfully honestly and here we go but yeah different background it's my room it's a little messy you know this i need to fix it i just thought you know summer spring let's do that but definitely go, going to change it anyways the shuffle is shuffle and i'm not looking at it either look okay i'm gonna look at it i'm gonna just pick okay hold on I'm gonna just get one because like it's all stuck together and these are questions i forgot about like i literally forgot what i wrote first question what is your biggest fear <laughs> um my biggest fear would be oh speed i hate speed i just hate it like when i'm in the train but specifically in the three or the six train and it goes fast no i can't like i'd be holding until i'll be like like scared and then yeah i just i don't like speed and then in the car like when i be in in taxis or like in a car and the person the driver is driving fast i can't i can't do that i literally like i feel my stomach sinking and i just get scared but speed yes that's my biggest fear Another one, another one. Why are they stuck? Okay. What do we, what do we most need in this world? What we most need in this world is pureness. That's what I think we need in this world because I feel like a lot of people, and even me, um, like we try not to show our genuine self and we're like we're scared of like putting ourselves out there or like being truthful to how we feel and what we are and i feel like that's what we need more because if we knew the more like if we put that out there more then people would understand us more and they would hear us out so yeah pureness okay Hello. I'm actually excited to be back. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I just like talking and conversating. So it's just like, I miss this. I definitely do miss this. Okay, next question. Hold up, hold up. Oh my God. Okay. What is your love language? <laughs> my love language is um, attention. I love attention like if my significant other is just giving me attention or like just like 
I think it's attention. Yeah, attention. Like them, like just like giving me attention, or like they are just like <clears throat> I don't know how to say it in English, but in Spanish it's like cari acariciando, acariciando me. Like when they do that, or like they're just like gentle and soft with me. Yeah, I think that's my love language. Next question. Why do humans need love and affection? Okay. Why do humans need love and affection? I believe that humans need love and affection because... Damn, that's a good question. Why do they need... I mean, why would I need love and affection? Not need, not need, it's not a need, but a want is because to feel like comfort and feel like you're not alone. I think that's why, like the comfortness and knowing that you're loved or like somebody can make you feel that type of way you know yeah. yeah next question if you could live anywhere where would it be i thought about this well i have two options two well two places i would want to live i would want to live in the countryside um I don't know where maybe Pennsylvania I mean I've been there so it's like very countryside very you know that time like that that vibe so definitely maybe Pennsylvania but also I would want to live in Hawaii like I don't know I want to live in the mountains I want to live with nature with trees with earth all of that like so yeah but then again, I mean, if I want to live, like I would want to live there, yeah. Yeah, I would want, like if I could live there, I would. But then again, a lot of things, like you need to know a lot about Hawaii in order to live there. So I would just have to investigate and like learn everything and then I'll be able to settle down. But definitely Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii it is. I think Hawaii, yeah not Pennsylvania Hawaii it's just they getting stuck and I'm like okay what have you learned from your past relationship uh, okay what have I learned from my past relationship don't oh don't like don't give second chances don't give second chances and if they're showing you who they are and telling you that they're not they can't be they're not available and they're not there for you then take it and leave and um what else um Oh, be honest definitely be honest be like be truthful like be honest don't lie from the beginning tell like whatever question they ask whatever they like you know they want to know let them know from the beginning okay but yeah that's my advice okay next question what is this what gets you in a bad mood um what gets me in a bad mood people saying stupid shit yeah okay that and when you just like like i've been more like i used like if you know me you know i used to talk a lot i used to be outgoing i used to like be socialized and be all of that right but now like now i've like learned to like you know settle down relax 
and observe. And so, oh my god, is it crooked? There. Okay. And so that's what I've been doing. And like when you observe, when you observe and you see, like read the room and read people, you damn, like you realize who they really are and you realize their true intentions and what they bring into your life and what they do not bring into your life. You just realize a lot. So that's definitely something that um makes me gets me in a bad mood. Like I'm grateful and I'm like thankful to have that and learn and I, that I've learned that, you know. But um definitely like just finding out like who people really are and their genuine intentions is blows minds. Okay. I have a lot of questions by the way, and I might not do all but we'll see because we're already 11 minutes in and you know you guys know my videos be so long for no reason so i think i'm gonna do 20 minutes max 25 okay next question why have i been getting blue not any of the color why okay next question if a genie granted you three wishes right now, what would you wish for? <laughs> genie, where you at? Because I'm telling you my wishes. First wish would be money. Give me a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Second would be to take me where I want to live like you know like yeah where I'm settled down already and I'm like I have a house with my mom and my brothers that's another one last one would be mm, what would the last one be What would the last one be? I don't know. Like, um, let's see. I want to make it good. Mm. Like my brother's playing music, and I'm feeling it. No, I'm kidding. What would the last one be? Um. I guess see my future. Yes, see my future. Okay, so money, because with the money, I could, you know, yeah, money, money, or being financially stable, money, being financially stable, you know, because I could do a lot of with that. I could give to my mom. I could help my brothers out. I could help my families around. I could help the poor. I could give it to homeless shelters. I could give it to the um, women's shelter. I could just do a lot, okay? So that's one thing. And then second would be, what did I say? Oh yeah, like take me to like where I wanna be settled down and have my house and all that, okay? Last one would be what would be the last one? What did I say? Um, what did I say? What was the last one? Oh my god, you see, I have a bad memory. Oh, see my future. Mm, yeah, I just want to see my future. Like, what's going on? So I could prepare. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Next question. With these nails, I can't do nothing. Y'all see this? They bling bling, but I 
can't do nothing. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. What's your greatest accomplishment so far? Um, making it out of high school. Literally one of my best ac accomplishments. And being so close. Well, it's my last semester. So, and I know I'm going to get it. Per my, um, my associate degree in early childhood education. So, like, yeah. Just graduating and completing school and, you know, making it. What's your favorite thing about yourself? How funny I am. I'm literally the funniest person ever. Get that right. And how self-aware and genuine I am. Yeah. If you know, you know about this. What is a relationship deal breaker for you? Um, a relationship deal breaker for me would be... What would it be? You know what? I'm not going to say it. Because if somebody here that wants to get me, they're, they're going to try to avoid that. And that's not how we play. You'll find out. You'll find out. Okay, next thing. Next one. More memory instantly makes you smile. Um... I'm thinking about one right now. What memory makes you instantly smile? The times where I laugh with my mom or like my siblings. Like, there's times where we just like get together and eat um, food from outside. And then um, like we are in our couch in the kitchen. And we all just chat within each other. And um, we just laugh, like nonstop. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah. Next question. Where do you think we go when we die? I think we. I think we. I don't think we just like close our eyes and then that's it. Everything is dark. I think we we. I say turn into something else. I mean, I, yeah, I think we do that. But you, I don't know. You never know. But I think we definitely, I don't know. I, I feel, I feel like in my opinion, I feel like that's what we do. So we turn into something else. Reincarnation that. Mm. Do dreams have meaning? I think they do. You know, I think there's somewhat gives us a meaning and to what be prepared for us to be prepared there for us to be prepared because yeah and I don't even know if I should say the story but long story short like if you don't believe in manifesting and people like wishing you wishing bad on you or like them thinking about you and like all of that Think about that again because yo that sh that sh it's, it's crazy it's crazy it blows minds if you follow me on snapchat if you follow me on instagram like i talk about that shit and it's like it's crazy he um and I <sighs> no i'm not gonna say you know what you know what now nah. you just keep it like that i'm good now but just know it's true like yeah dreams do mean something and they like they just have a meaning to it okay next question now y'all wanting the tea y'all okay what well, makes you it's because i just i just want to leave that in the past you know because it's like pointless hey bye Okay. What makes you feel most empowered? Um, myself. Like how I think, how I am. I just grown so much. And I was thinking about this yesterday. I'm like, 
it's just crazy how you could change because of how much hurt you've been through but it's like you have at some point at some point you have to make a lot like draw the line and stop and just do shit for you and be there for you and put yourself first and so what makes me feel most empowered is what makes me feel sorry i'm looking at the question again what makes me feel most empowered is how no matter what i went through yeah i don't show it as much yeah i'm not soft Jenny. Yeah, i'm not like there's a wall basically there's a wall in me now and you, you have to break through it and it's gonna take a long time but you'll get there eventually and you'll see me again you'll see the soft the loving the genuine jenny and no i'm not saying i'm mean like you come at me and, and you come up to me and then like i'm just like don't like you and that's it no i'm not saying none of that like i'm still sweet jenny i'm still loving jenny it's just i don't i won't i don't take shit anymore <laughs> that's the thing i don't take shit and just how, how i've grown and what i've done to put myself first is just incredible and i love that and that is powerful Next question. What is your idea of a healthy relationship? Definitely comprehension. It used to be understanding, but no, it's comprehension. Like, un like, do you really understand me? Do you really hear me? Do you really know what I want? Do you really know how I feel? Do you know me? You know, comprehension. And speaking up, speaking up. Like, speak up for yourself, no matter what. That makes up a good relationship. Yeah or healthy relationship comprehension and and communicating and talking and saying how you feel without the other person getting mad okay what is the more what is more important what you say or how you say it okay what is more important what you say or how you say it how you say it definitely how you say it because i have no problem telling you how i feel or what i have to say but it's just how i say it like if it's coming out in a bitchy way it's coming out in a nice way it's coming in nice, out in a rude way like the way i say it is what's important you know how have your priorities changed over time talking about this like literally i just talked about that um like i said yeah i just put one out and like i just don't handle shit no more like, you don't get second chances no more. I'm done, like, I'm done with that. I used to give many chances, more than two, but I don't do that no more. I don't, like, you show me who you were, and that's it. But, um, yeah, like, that's, that's me. But I'm still loving, I'm still Jenny. Like, if you know, you have me in my life, you know, I'm gonna thrive for you. I'm gonna be there for you. I'm gonna, I love you. I don't take shit. I don't take shit anymore. And yeah. Okay. Good question. Do you have any tattoos? And what is the meaning? Oh yeah. Okay. I can do this. So I have this one right here. Uh, if you can see, hold on. Let me. That one right here. And so that basically is um my mom's name. Mercedes Morales, mom's name, with her, that's her handwriting, um, because in high school, and even now, when I need, like, slip signs, she'd sign them, so whenever I look at that, I think of her when she would sign my papers, and just her name, it's just her name, and then this one says, stay pure, stay pure, and that's because when I got it through that time, um, I was put through shit, like little shit, um, and even then, like after that, like while I was put through that, like I just, I still stayed true to myself and I still um, was nice and giving and and it never changed and that's how it is like no matter how people do me no matter how what happens in my life like i still stay the same I, i'm still pure still loving i'm still giving 
I'm not mean, I'm not, I don't turn cruel, I don't let that change me and let that get to me or make me feel like nah, nah, nah. They did that to me, so I need to do that. I need to do this, or I need to hate them. I need, no. Like, I'm just like, pure intentions only. Okay? And you did what you did, and that's it. Like, you learn from that. I learned what to, ch like, what to accept and what not to accept, and moved on from it. Okay. Next question. Oh, I got two. Do you like or dislike surprises? Why or why not? I hate surprises. I hate surprises. I literally hate surprises. No, I'm kidding. Let me not. Let me not. Okay, I love surprises, but I hate surprises. If you know what I mean. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't like knowing what I'm going to get. Because what if I don't get the reaction you want? You know? Like, I don't know. It's scary. What? For me, like, that's scary. Like, what the fuck? Like, I want to give you the best reaction ever. But, yeah. But they're cute. The prizes are cute. So, if you want to surprise me, go ahead. Okay, next question. What's the most memorable lesson you learned from your parents? The most memorable lesson you learned from your parents? Well, the most memorable lesson that I learned from my mother is that people come and go. People definitely come and go, and you just gotta keep moving. You just gotta go with life, like keep moving with life, cause people come and go, and nothing changes. You just gotta let them go. It's meant to me is meant to me. If it's not, move on. I love you, mom. Next question: What is the best? piece of advice you have received from a friend um never okay so i was going through a breakup right and then one of my friends was like i would yeah it's considered advice yes well all my friends have given have given me good advice especially during the last like situation that i went through in my past relationship and they've got they've gotten back and they told me like a lot of advice that opened my eyes but one that my friend told me was like jenny i don't like seeing you like that you're usually, usually happy and smiling and that broke me like that made me realize that that when i when she told me that i got up and i wiped my tears up and i was like nah i'm gonna do me i'm gonna fuck it like i gotta keep moving and be the happy Jenny and smile and laugh and so yeah like that like broke me yet yeah, opened my eyes like she was like yeah ah, it was just thank you okay next question what is the craziest thing you have done as a kid I've done so many crazy shits if I would tell you guys the amount of crazy things I've done it won't even believe it. But like craziest, craziest would it be. I mean, would it would um would it be would it be would it be crazy like like let's just like what age though? Cause like when I was small, okay, let's go through ages so. Elementary school, I didn't do no, um, no, I didn't do no crazy shit. I was a little missing girl. Middle school, um, I definitely did a, um, middle school, what the fuck did I do that it was crazy? Skip school, that's it. Oh, got in a fight, got in a fight, middle school. If y'all go back to my video, y'all know I talked about it. Um, high school, y'all really want to know this shit? Wait, do I? Mm. Oh, came into class with mad hickey. Yo, that shit was funny. <laughs> if you know, you fucking know. Yo, like, they, they was like all on my leg. And that's, that's uh, another story to tell. But, um, um, and then going into college, Okay, the craziest shit I've ever done was go with my ex to Pennsylvania. The fucking middle of the night. 
like Pennsylvania, y'all. Pennsylvania, not New Jersey, not upstate New York, not Brooklyn, not Bronx, not Queens, not not nothing around here, but Pennsylvania. And that shit was crazy. That's like one of the crazy experiences I've ever had. Yeah, that was crazy. Okay, next question. Is it possible to stay friends with your exes? Girl, no. Goodbye. Next question. Because that did that and that it didn't work out. Yeah, it just doesn't work out. Like, no. It's not the same. It's not. No mutual feelings. And if you try that, you either you're going to hurt him or he's going to hurt you. So think about it. Think about that. What is your biggest regret in life? My biggest regret in life is... Mm, always having ideas and not doing it or not doing nothing about it. That's what it is. Like YouTube. I've been having this idea since I was a little girl. Since I was in middle school, literally. But I was so scared. I was like, nah, 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 nah. And now, like... But look now, I'm doing it, yeah. But and but I'm not consistent, which I need to be. So that's something I, I need to start learning to do. But yeah. Okay, next question. We're finishing it all. It's just four more questions. Number five. What kind of parent do you wish your kid remembered you as? I want my kid to remember me as that dependent parent that you could depend on. That parent that was always there for you. That parent that was is fun and funny and helpful. You know? Yeah. Okay. What's the one thing that should be taught in school that isn't uh how to handle money? How to do your taxes, how to handle money, money, how to get money, how to invest your money, all of that. All that has to do with money because believe it or not, this world is made for money. It's made up of money. We have to we need money because if we don't have money we do not it's not we're not living we're not surviving we're not we're getting nowhere and it's the sad truth but it's, it is it is like that okay another one how would you describe your last relationship wait didn't i do that y'all don't Did we, didn't we do this first? Or am I tripping? I think we did this. Not me not wanting to answer this. But I'm pretty sure we did this. Or it was something about past relationship. I don't know what it was. How would you describe your last relationship? Really toxic. Well, at first it was good, you know. From my side, I wasn't honest and genuine the beginning but then you know as it went on it was and it was late ready so i messed up from the beginning but then with and then he changed and then that kind of messed us up and he stayed like that he wasn't willing to change and i changed late and it was just and then after that it just got toxic it just got bad and then he i guess i would consider that my karma he like hurt me and he like it just got really toxic it just got really bad and yeah toxic yeah, how would that's how I would describe my relationship. Toxic, very, very toxic, actually. Yep. Okay, last two questions. Do you believe in second chances? No, I the fuck do not. Sorry, sorry YouTube, sorry, but I do not believe in second chances. You showed me who you was from the beginning, and that's what I'm gonna take, and that's it. You're done. You're done. You're done. Don't talk to me. Leave. Is there anything you're ashamed of from your past? Uh, yes, a lot, actually. 
but one one thing that i'm really ashamed of is talking to all these guys in middle school okay let me not say all but it was a couple like what the fuck was i thinking it was just it was like, it was just weird and yeah i just why it was yeah that's something that i'm ashamed of from my past but i learned from that other than that though i don't think like i did what i did i learned and never again never again i just want me one man that we gonna ride forever um goodbye and that's all for today's video thank you for watching thank you for keeping up with me next video is gonna come soon next most likely this week two two videos in a week two videos in a week i owe it to you guys um but um yeah that's that thank you for watching i love you babies